Welcome back guys for another episode of Tomb Raider 1. If you're new to my channel and want to follow this daily series, remember to press the subscribe and bell buttons. And now let's continue. Right, now. Let's continue exploring Egypt, I guess. Uh, let's see and see what this level is named. I always like to do that. The Sanctuary of the Sion. Interesting, that's where we're actually gonna find the third and final piece of the Sion. Oh, so we are actually quite late in the story. Interesting. Alright, dramatically the door is closing behind me. Two closed entrances and a huge staircase. Well, you can kind of guess what's about to happen, right? And the game, this is what I was talking about, the game giving you ammunition at the very start of the level. And we need a key for that. Oh, I remember, that's uh, the very last part of the level. Like, we are gonna end the level in the same area we started. That's the key behind that door that goes over there all right let's get ready for a fight though now nice i am loving the shotgun let's see pastor you say maybe they were tired and they skipped <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was like, I don't know, midnight in the uh, IDOS software offices and somebody said, yeah, come on, screw it. Let's not place any more enemies. Let's go home. There's a, yeah, there's a football game or something. <laughs> now, what's going on in here? All right, some ammunition. Always welcome. Is there anything down here? No. Alright, let's move up. <coughs> oh boy. Oh, I remember this area. Oh boy. Okay, this is a huge area. You can see all of these things are actually part of the uh, playable level. We will have to do a lot of climbing in this one. I remember that much. So what we need to do, I remember this, is we have to climb all over the place. We need to find two thingies that eventually go up there. Right, so I'm not gonna climb up there just now. Let's grab the med kit first of all. And we are gonna get some new enemies in this area as well. Flying enemies this time. And not bats, mind you. We, we, we can call them huge, nasty bats. <laughs> they look like demons, if I remember correctly. Right, anyway, now... Oh, there is an enemy down there. You can see him already. Can I shoot him? Oh, damn it. I do not want to get boxed in by him. Not there. It would be ideal if he would leave that area and go somewhere else. Oh, actually I can shoot him. Nice. What are you shooting at, Lara? <laughs> oh, he's waiting down there for me, isn't he? Ah, screw it. Let's go. All right, face him quick. Where is he? Did he leave? Oh, Jesus. He's firing bullets? That is new. He didn't do a lot of damage, though. Like, almost all of my health is intact. Interesting. I guess a lot of twists are introduced in this level. All 
Alright, now let's see. That's the first area we need to climb. And I think the other area is on the other side. That's much more difficult. Let's first take a round trip and eliminate every, any enemies we can find. Also, there's a door there. I don't remember what role that plays. Maybe that's the end of the level. We'll see. But I do remember this being a huge level, like maybe one of the largest ones in the entire game. But I might be wrong because there's a lot of climbing. And if you do not know what you're doing in this level, yeah, it can take a lot of time. But I actually know what I'm doing, so uh, hopefully it will not take as much time as I remember. Alright, so that's the second area. Somewhere here... There's a climbing spot. I think I'm gonna climb the other. Should we climb the tough one first? Yeah, since we're here, let's do that. That's where we start our climb. Remember the first time I saw this level, I could not believe how much climbing there was here. It kind of seemed unnatural, but then you see that lever over there. And you know that you actually have to go. This is usually the amount of climbing required for secret areas. But in this instance, it's part of the uh, actual main quest, I guess. So, how do we get there? Well, the game surely wants me to climb this, so let's do that. Let's actually do a few saves along the way. Because if we fall down, oh boy, does this take a long time to do again. Oh boy, see? <laughs> That's what I mean, okay. I should have made this a run and jump. Surprisingly, it's not the enemies where you need to uh, save the game beforehand. It's the jumps. It's the jumps that get you in this game. Although, make no mistake, there are some nasty enemies. <laughs> of course. Like, if I remember, the new enemies arrive as soon as I pull that switch. and see if I remember correctly. Alright, do we have our shotgun? Okay. Let's be on the ready. Yeah, that opens one of the doors. Nice. Now, where is the new enemy? Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, no, do not. <laughs> oh, you sneaky demon. <laughs> Alright, let's... uh. Let's take a more strategic approach the next time. Oh man, didn't I? Oh man, I forgot to save. <laughs> See, that's what happens. Alright, and the next time we do this, I'm gonna hide in the corner a bit. So that even if he... If I, if I take damage, he will not uh, drop me down and kill me.
Yeah, so definitely saving now. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna hide in that corner. All right, let's wait for him right here. Come on, Lara. See him. Okay, so he takes four bullets. Interesting. That means the flying variety of these enemies takes four bullets instead of three. Ah, maybe it's one extra bullet for the wings, I guess. <laughs> or something. Any case, now we can go towards that door that opened. just need to find a quick way down that's not a quick way down Lara <laughs> damn it why do I keep doing these things now where did I save oh man I have to fight it again yeah that's okay might as well we know the drill now Now I'm gonna save. Damn it, why do I forget it? Save after every enemy. That's what I used to do back then the day. Is there a quick way down? Like, come on. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. I think we can keep going. Yeah, we can. There are some bullets there, though. Is that worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Let's just do it for the exploration reasons. Just to see what's there. Oh wow, barely made that jump. What is the name of that creature, you ask? Actually, I have no idea. I don't think creatures have names. In this game unless of course you ask the developers then they're gonna give you a name but it never comes up in this game like obviously there is no dialogue to mention it and you cannot see their names when they're dead so i guess you kind of have to name them yourself i'm naming them demons or uh flying demons or something like that <laughs> and now now we have to drop down though i think is this gonna kill me if i drop down let's save well let's actually see all right this is a bit closer let's drop here first all right didn't kill me nice that's a cause for celebration, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. Alright, so now, where is that door that opened? Well, we could go and open the second door as well, but... I guess let's take things one at a time. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Always save when entering a new area. Oh, yes, the uh, puzzle pools. I remember. So now, what do you have to do in this one? Let's actually go in the water and see if there's anything here. Although I think there is nothing. You can see there's a ledge there. That's where we need to go, actually. Let's first drop down. Explore the water. Alright, nothing as anticipated. Obviously, you cannot go climb on that ledge. What you need to do... Is drop down 
this way, grab onto that little ledge there, and then you can reach it. Do you guys know there is a stylish way of uh, actually ascending with Lara? Let me show you. If you push shift while you uh, escalate something, she does this. It is slow, obviously not something you do in normal gameplay, but you know, just for showing off. <laughs> it is kind of cool. We get some ammunition as well. Very welcome. <coughs> and there is another pool down there. Alright, so pools galore. This time I think we need to go in the pool though. Let's see. Are there any enemies in here? Yeah, you can see there's a key down there, so we definitely need to go. Right, now let's come out. Yeah, there's a uh, bridge above us. That's where we need to go. sliding down again though that means we have to make the jump to the bridge that might take a few tries so let's save oh man <laughs> yeah i thought so let's try this again i have to be very late on my jump Okay, there's a door, but what do I do with it? Oh, do I have a key? Yeah, I have a key. I retrieved it in the other pool. Now, where does this lead? Oh, no. Okay, enemies. I'm calling these guys centaurs because they are like... Well, they are like centaurs. Wow, it take a lot of bullets sometimes. Maybe distance plays a role, because that enemy was very far away from my shotgun. Oh man, playing with that shotgun. Kinda wanna play Duke Nukem at some point. Wow, they, maybe that will be the next retro game. <laughs> Oh, I wish I'd had more time to play retro games. Like, there's so many new games coming out, but October was kind of a uh, weak month for games. So that's why I could uh, actually go ahead and play something old. If I get any more periods like that, where no new interesting games come out, I'm definitely gonna play some more. I love retro gaming. I've already uploaded series for Commandos. And I think all the Commandos games I've played on my channel. Wait, is that right? That's where I'm going? Yeah, I have to go into the next pool, don't I? I also like the idea of finishing the Tomb Raider, though. Like, definitely, I wouldn't mind playing two. Tomb Raider 2 was one of my all-time favorite games back in the day. Tomb Raider 3, not so much. That's where things start getting a bit... I don't know. Something was off about Tomb Raider 3 for me. 
Still a good game, though. All right, so now we're back out. Now we need to go and climb the other area I was telling you about. So this thing here. All right, we cannot climb this, obviously, so... <laughs> have to start a series of jumps from this stone. <laughs> uh, so where is my next jump? Yeah, that looks too high, so let's jump over there. Oh, and there's a med pack there, which actually means there's probably an enemy there as well. I mean, if it's a large, if it's a small med pack, I'm not worried. Like this one, for example. But if it's a large med pack, oh jeez, okay. If it's a large med pack, it usually means you're gonna need that. <laughs> That's why the devs are giving it to you. No, actually, I didn't jump at the correct moment, but... I guess the trap only kills you if you uh, jump as the doors are closing, not as they're opening. Oh man! <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, let's watch the death animation because I'm a fool and I need to be reminded of that. <laughs> oh man. Why do I forget these things? Interesting, I think I actually jumped over it. Oh man, this little sequence here reminded me of something. Like, you saw there is a very small gap here. You cannot see, do you? Can you tell there is a gap here? It kind of looks like a straight. But there is a gap. This reminds me of when I was playing, um, what was it? The latest... Star Wars game, yeah, Jedi The Fallen Order. I was so excited that I found something in the distance that I kept running, didn't see a little hole in the ground and fell down to my death. Yeah, there's gotta be a flying enemy here, come on. There you go. There he is coming. Come on, Lara. Nice. I'm starting to think there might not be any explode damage. Because they are exploding quite close to me. Most of the time. Maybe they have to be right on me to take some damage. Alright, let's grab that med kit. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why do I keep doing these things? Why? Did I at least save? Yeah, it's saved. Okay, cool. That's something. <laughs> Alright, so now, what did we actually open? We opened the middle door? Or the side door? I don't remember. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention too much. <laughs> okay, how can I drop down safely now? I think this way. Alright, that's as safe as it gets. Interesting, I didn't climb this area. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything useful up here. Like a med pack or something. Alright, so it wasn't the middle door that opened. Then it's probably gotta be the, uh, the door that's high up on the other side of the level. 
Oh, what was that camera change about? The camera changed. Interesting. I don't know if you guys caught it. Wait, where is my climbing point? There it is. So now we need to do this all over again, I guess. But this time, there will be an open door waiting for us on the other side. Actually, this is a run and jump. I think the developers had a specific order in mind for doing these things. That's why it's taking me a bit longer than I thought. Like, if I had climbed to that second switch instead of the first one, if I did this the other way around, then I'd had this door open. I could move much faster without having to climb a second time up here, I mean. Ah, this was a run and jump, I think. Uh, it's actually save. <laughs> so now we need to go all the way over there. Am I doing this the right way, I wonder, though? Because if I was a developer, I would definitely have placed some other climbing spot a bit closer to it. It seems excessive. Now, where do we go from here, there? This is where we, uh... Oh, there is another climbing spot, isn't there? Yeah, I'm a fool. I shouldn't have climbed the entire thing, probably. Like, there looks to be... A set of rocks right there that we can climb. Yeah, that's the open door up there, as you can see. That's the thing we opened. So I probably have to go down again, don't I? I don't think I should jump. Let's just save to be safe. Just in case I'm wrong. Can I actually climb up here? You know what? I actually think I did the right thing. Because we cannot climb up here from down there. So actually, yeah, that's the correct way to do, to go. make this a diagonal jump <laughs> and that's the end of this episode then if you enjoyed it remember to press the like button to help my channel out and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments to watch the next one, you can find a playlist link in the description of this video. 
And if you want to receive a notification for every new episode, make sure to click the subscribe and bell buttons right below this video. Thanks again, guys. See you in tomorrow's episode.